good day, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to you about the future of education. Education, if we were to track its historical trajectory, uh, evolved for over a thousand years. It started as uh, uh, related to religious uh, institutions and a big revolution happened uh, in the industrial revolutions where universities were directed towards meeting the needs of industrialization. In that era, specialization became king. Being able to do one specific thing became very, very important. Now we live in an era called the fourth industrial revolution, the era in which technologies such as blockchain, artificial intelligence, internet of things, and developments in biotechnologies are revolutionizing every aspect of our lives. Now, just recently, I read an article where artificial intelligence is able to, uh, to diagnose uh, de dementia much, much better than human doctors with all sorts of implications on how do you train a doctor? Do you train them just to understand the medical sciences? Or they have to understand both technology and medical science. It is clear that the future is going to be technologically intensive and the education that we give must actually be able to respond to that. What are we doing here at the University of Johannesburg? Firstly, we have introduced a compulsory artificial intelligence uh, a subject where Everybody, irrespective of what they are learning, have to take this course called artificial intelligence. I'll give you an example where this can become useful. Uh, a version of Siri, speech recognition tool, is something that requires somebody to understand computer science, which is obviously mathematics, uh, uh, you know, coding, and so on and so forth. But the same person must also understand language, linguistics. So that person must become multidisciplinary. Multi so the future of education is multidisciplinary. The future of education is going to have to be infrastructure, uh, digital infrastructure reach. Because, for example, when you come to our classrooms, augmented reality, virtual reality are now part of the ways in which we, we offer education. Now, given that, how do we come together to make sure that our universities, especially those in rural areas, have adequate infrastructure? It is important for government to partner with the private sector so that we can be able to create the necessary infrastructure that is necessary for us to be able to give a fourth industrial revolution education where virtual reality, augmented reality, blended learning, multidisciplinary approach is very, very important. The other thing that uh, makes it also very important is because the students of today must be immersed in the environment in which they are going to operate. Whether it is in the workplaces, whether it is in the communities, as uh, entrepreneurs, uh, whether it is interacting with politicians, and so on and so forth. This obviously requires that the people who are teaching them are not just the, the people who were trained to teach them. It means we need to bring CEOs into our classrooms. It means we need to, uh, to bring tech barons, people who understand technology from a practical perspective into our classrooms. The other thing that is very important in the future of education is innovation. Here at the University of Johannesburg, we have created a new campus in Devland, uh, together with Accenture uh, and Growing Africa, uh, an organization that uh, donated the building, where what we are doing is to get ideas that normally will come from the research spaces and any other spaces, but they have to be innovative ideas we commercialize the ideas and ultimately we monetize whatever we have commercialized, which means products on our shelves. You know, take an idea and lead it into products that we can get in our corner shops. Very, very important. And it requires a different type of mindset. It requires a mindset of people who build things. 
It requires merging theory and practice with an entrepreneurial and business view. It requires classrooms that are able to, that are ecosystems to, to be able to, uh, uh, to, to germinate that. The other factor that is very important in this new era of, uh, of education is the, is the issue of internationalization. We need to take our students to the world and we need to take students from the world to our classrooms. What have we done here at the University of Johannesburg? We have a project called Africa Innovation by Bus, where we take thousands and thousands of students across the African continent. We have taken them to Namibia by bus. We have taken them to Botswana. We have taken them to Zimbabwe. We have taken them to Zambia. We have taken them to Mozambique by bus. And it's not just a, a nice ride. It's a ride where you are experiencing the environment. You are interacting, identifying problems with a view of coming up with innovative solutions that ideally could be commercialized to solve those problems. And some of the problems that we have identified are problems of migration, the lack of uh, digital technologies in, the mig in many of the migration centers around our borders, um, you know, the, the, the need for systems that you can be able to speak to eat in, our, in your own native tongue, and somebody on the other side can hear in their native tongue, and then they can reply, and so on and so forth. That includes African languages, because here we're operating in Africa, and people are speaking African languages. It also means our classrooms now, with digital technologies, we can be able to take a group of students from a country as far as China, uh, digitally, to our classrooms here in Johannesburg. We can be able to form teams, multinational teams, to tackle problems. In, in fact, this is important in order to prepare our students for the good that has to come out of globalization. I thank you very much. Nia Wonga, bye, thank you.